1962, the Soviet Union began experimenting with microwave technology and its possible mind-altering effects. Their target was the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. Find out more as Paranormal TV explores the untold story of the Moscow Signal. The United States and the Soviet Union have been on opposite ideological sides since they battled over Berlin after World War II. This dispute between the two superpowers evolved into the Cold War. An imaginary line now divided the world into two distinct parts. The Soviet Union on one side, the United States and its allies on the other. There were no concrete battlefields in this new war. Rather, each country proved its strength through the buildup of their nuclear arsenals and advancements in technology. With the arms race in high gear, secret information became a valuable currency in which to trade, and espionage seemed to become the modus operandi. But the Soviets took their intelligence efforts a step further to paranormal espionage. Case in point, the American Embassy in Moscow, a repository for top secret information. But outside those walls, agents of the KGB turned the embassy into a testing ground for new and more subtle forms of espionage. In 1962, a series of strange and unexplained illnesses plagued the embassy staff. Three ambassadors in a row went home sick with cancer. And then many, many of the staff all became very ill, depressed, disoriented, feeling uh, very, very sick. And quite a few of them had to also be recalled because of illness. Naturally, the CIA's suspicions were aroused. Project Pandora, the CIA's investigation into the source of these strange ailments, uncovered what agents called the Moscow Signal, a pulsing beam of microwave energy directed at the embassy from a building directly across the street. Investigators were further alarmed to learn that the beam was aimed at the office of the ambassador himself, Walter Stosser. Reports on the ambassador's health indicated that the beam was having a profound physical effect. Despite American protests and attempts to shield the building, the radiation of the embassy continued. When Nixon and his party were visiting there, apparently they began to have experience all kinds of symptoms of severe depression and crying fit. And it wasn't just one, it was virtually everyone in the in a group that was visiting. An analysis of the microwave beam revealed frequencies known to affect human behavior. American intelligence agencies recognized the patent from their own simple experiments performed on animals. But this was something much more advanced. This evidence pointed to a microwave emitter used for the purpose of mind control. As these experiments went on, a network of Soviet spies began to gather information from their contacts inside Western governments. Even the President of the United States was a target. In 